think New Jersey beer drinkers really just want a good local product. The beer scene in New Jersey is uh, is quite at thriving. We've been working for a bunch of years now trying to uh, approach the legislature. The legislation we're working with is important in a couple ways. The distribution possibilities on the on the brew pub side is important. The retail possibilities on the microbrewery side is important. I don't think they ever imagined that we would get to the size that we're getting. year of the festival so each year has its own different flavor this year we have great weather which is nice I am tasted all the beers just got here but um, I would say the uh, farmhouse saison from uh, River Horse which I have in my glass here uh, does stand out the festival continues to grow every year which is good and uh, you know it, it's a great meeting place for all of New Jersey's breweries in one place and as you know state laws currently uh, exclude the brew pubs from really doing these types of events except for this one event which is what we're trying to change legislation wise so really there is only one opportunity a every year for uh, New Jerseyans to try and sample all the breweries in their state and this is it. So we've been working for a bunch of years now trying to uh, um, approach the legislature and trying to do some stuff with the laws and, and make it a little bit more business friendly both for the micros and for the pubs. Right now you can only sample at a brewer, at a microbrewery and buy a limited amount of beer. They're trying to open that out uh, up a little bit more so people can make a, a larger purchase at the brewery. Uh, with the brew pubs, they're trying to make it so they can actually go into bottling and own more than two brew pubs in the state. So I think it's all positive. The legislation we're working with is important in a couple ways. It helps the brew pubs in some things. It helps the um, the craft, the production breweries. Um, a lot of the rules were passed during after Prohibition, and New Jersey only had big breweries like Schlitz and Schaefer and Pabst and Budweiser. Now, you know, there's the Budweiser plant and there's 20 little guys. So we're just looking for a lot of things like the New Jersey Jersey wineries have. You know, we want to do more for tourism. We bring a lot of people in and. You know, we got guys in from Maryland just two weeks ago, wanted to buy a case of beer, and I'm like, sorry, we can't sell you that. The beer scene in New Jersey is uh, is quite at thriving, and uh, it's a very close-knit uh, group of brewer, brewers, breweries, about 20 breweries in the state, and they do events together, they get along, and they, they help each other out, and uh, I think it's a, it's a good brewing scene. I think New Jersey beer drinkers really just want a good local product, I think, and I think they're finally getting it now. Current laws are about about 25 years, 20 years old now on the books. And I don't think they imagined, uh, at the time I think everyone's always conservative about how they craft laws. Everybody, especially in New Jersey, is uh, worried about unintended consequences. And so I don't think they ever imagined that we would get to the size that we're getting and the growth that we're getting and certainly the potentials for jobs that we have to, that we can create in the state. So. You know, I, I think it's it's high time now that you take a thriving industry and release some of the restrictions on it so that it can continue to grow uh, within the state. It's kind of a complicated issue. I had the good fortune to sit in with the New Jersey Restaurant Association the other day when they were actually debating this issue. Um, clearly there's some uh, wrinkles to be ironed out in the, in the legislation. Um, but uh, yes, I mean, I think, I think the distribution possibilities on the, on the brew pub side is important. The retail possibilities on the microbrewery side is important. I'm glad to see that opening up, and I'm also glad to see that that legislation is being considered and drafted in a way that's responsible for liquor licenses that exist already throughout the state. Well, I mean, you know, we're 100% we're in support of the new bill. Um, you know, it, it does some great things for the brew pubs, but it really helps us out too. Uh, we're really looking forward to being able to, uh, you know, to get some kegs and stuff going out of the brewery. You know. It seems a little bit silly to be, uh, you know, for us to sell a keg, we got to send it to Phillipsburg and then all the way back in the other direction. So, you know, I'd really like to have it, you know, fresh. Where I'm pulling it out of the cooler, I know it's been, you know, kept cold, kept proper. And I know nothing's happened to it along the way. So, you know, the more fresh, you know, fresh beer right out of the brewery we can get into people's hands, the better. So uh, we really hope it goes through sooner than later. Now to donate beer to a nonprofit, we have to get a $150 permit and they have to get a $150 permit for a case of beer. It does, it's not worth it. You know, we're part of the community. We want to help the community and, and be able to do more. Of that. And that's how we market. 
we're in Pennsylvania and Delaware, and certainly New Jersey is way behind. Uh, one, in terms of allowing brew pubs to sell their beer off-premise, allowing uh, all breweries to attend events and sample their wares and stand behind the booth and pour samples uh, to people. You know, we're so worried about restricting that in this state that it, it really it becomes a promotional disadvantage for us to do that. There's two venues that I see for this. Uh, first of all, yes, the restaurant down the street wants to carry a, ca a cask of my beer every once in a while. Furthermore, New York and Philadelphia markets, they want to carry my specialty beer from time to time. And I don't, I don't do, I'm not built for volume, I'm built for specialty. So when I can do 14 kegs of a specialty batch of cask ale, I know that there's a distributor in New York that wants to have it and he's got venues to sell it to, but he's not allowed to get it. So I, w I want that visibility. I want that cachet. I can't get it legally. So we're just waiting for the legislation to come through, and I think it'll be good for everybody. I drink New Jersey craft beer, and I vote. I drink craft beer from New Jersey, and I vote. I drink craft beer from New Jersey, and I vote. I drink craft beer from New Jersey, and I vote. I drink craft beer from New Jersey, and I vote. I'm a New Jersey craft beer drinker and I vote. I drink New Jersey craft beer and I vote.